still in pain. A matchup for the UFC welterweight division title. Well, a long winning streak may guarantee you a title fight in other divisions. Certainly doesn't at 170 pounds. But now, with all the contenders behind him, there is one man left standing. It is this man, the number one welterweight contender, now getting his shot at the dominant champion. And he believes, without a shadow of a doubt, that he is the best 170 in the world. And he is out to prove it right here, right now. Undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, and in a division that has so much depth in that top 15, it's even more remarkable that this man has remained the hunted. The question tonight, with a powerful challenger out of that blue corner, can he walk away and still? to our tail of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters. Some differences in height and reach. Now for the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC welterweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 25 wins, four losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Leon Rocky Edwards. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 12 wins, no losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Gomez. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to bring my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, for a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch gloves, and we are underway. everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Oh, blocks that kick to the body. Nicely done. 
looping left hand misses the target. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Very nice leg kick there by Edwards. Unable to land with that punch. That and he comes knee, through with a big knee. That knee hurt him. Man! Now a knee. And now he's got the tie clinch. Edwards gets the tie clinch here. Big knee lands there. And a knee. Oh, nice knees. Oh! Unbelievable. Serve him up. Go get him. Looks like maybe he's trying to get an arm underneath the chin. He's side to side, trying to get a bulldog choke. Oh! This is the choke that your uncle used to do to you when you were a little kid because you didn't have the power. And this might of. just be a matter of time. <laughs> and now he taps. The last time I saw a bulldog choke was at a family barbecue, uh -huh. and somebody grabbed one of the young kids and stood side to side and choked them. You don't do this in a high-level martial arts fight, but this man just did exactly that. Barbecue in Louisiana, he better be ready to get bulldog choke. Better get ready for a bulldog choke. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled, he's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. And ladies and gentlemen, there he is, a man that needs no introduction, the undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world and your winner tonight by way of spectacular submission. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliata has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 14 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out. And still! Welterweight greatness continues tonight and still UFC champion. I think on nights like tonight, you're glad you don't fight 170 pounds. This is a problem. I mean, he is a problem for anybody. Anybody within the weight area, if he decides to go up, he's a problem at 185. If he decides to go down, he's a problem at 155. He is just that good a fighter. Congratulations to the champ on retaining his title. It ain't selling the same. It won't be to sell you my latest little sneakers. It won't be because some slid in my lane. Everything grows. It's destined to change. I love you, look. I'm glad that you came. I hope that you scrape every dollar you came. I hope you know money won't even the pain. To the OGs, I'm thanking you now. I was watching you when you was paving the ground. I can't your penis. I mirrored your style. I studied the grace. I'm the greatest right now. If you feel me, I ain't do no promo. Still made up my mind. When I set my intentions, I promise to stop. I'm writing down names, I'm making a list, I'm checking it twice and I'm giving them hit. The real ones been dying, the fake ones is lit. Game is off balance, I'm back on my shit. The Billy is dirty, my sneakers is dirty, but that's how I like it. You all on my dick. I just poured something in my cup. All right, let's go. Our this time is 
Let's get in there and move. He's got nothing against your takedowns. Man, your next opponent is gonna be no match for you.
But you don't want pressure. No, they don't want that pressure. Or no. well, there's no cap in me, my head get wet first. Uh, Rather me dead first. Uh, I drop down head first. On the bag now. Listen to my call outs. Stop now, you got 30 seconds. No worries, we'll get better. Still doubt. Hey, now I got a three piece. Till they need deep. Heavy gotta stay woke. Listen for my instructions. All right, let's go. Great job in there. Your timing is really on point. like that and no one will catch you. Come on, 30 seconds left. Man, your next opponent is going to be no match for you. Coming up next, the wait is over. We get to this matchup for the UFC welterweight division title. All 
right, so here's the former UFC welterweight champion, the chosen one, Tyron Woodley. Four successful title defenses as well for Woodley. Power right hand, outstanding wrestling chops, and really a strategist when it comes to the matchup and how best to approach it. In everything, in every facet of life, Tyron Woodley is a strategist. He finds the best approach for him, and he makes it work, and it's shown in his ability to be in big fights and big events a guy that can win fights in a number of ways. We spend a lot of time talking about Tyron Woodley and his wrestling ability, but he doesn't use it that much because he has a right hand that can put anybody to sleep in the drop of a dime. Just don't tell him he was the underdog against Darren Till back in the day. He, he doesn't like that like That was a crazy, crazy night down in Dallas. He is the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion in a division full of killers. He has remained the hunted at 170 pounds. Now, unquestionably staring at his toughest challenger to date, can he go back home as the champion? If he can, another chapter to one of the greatest welterweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. And now our tale of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. Well, how about the age discrepancy here? More than 15 years apart. Some differences in height and reach. The veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out O2 Arena in London, England, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Welterweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 20 wins, 10 losses, and one draw. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of St. Louis, Missouri, USA, presenting the challenger, Tyron, the chosen one, one and now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 13 wins, no losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Gomez. UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. So without further delay, here we go. Round one is underway. This is the UFC Welterweight Championship, and there is the champion out of the red corner. You guys, let me down again. He turned his entire body into that upset, and it landed exactly as he was. <laughs> Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh, what a punch. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Well, shades of Cormier against Dan Henderson back in. 
in the day just slammed his opponent to the ground. I mean, just slammed him, lifted him up, and almost treated him. He jumps on a headlock. We call this in wrestling just a headlock. And if you're not careful, you can get stuck in an arm triangle. Not the time to be up here. And there is the tap and a violent one at that, and you get a false sense of security messing around with this guy on the ground. He's got submissions from everywhere. Goes to the heel hook well today. Beautiful finish by this jujitsu ace. He went right from the top position into that heel hook and got the finish. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. And there he is, the UFC welterweight champion of the world. What a moment for him here tonight as he earns the victory by submission. Yeah, he is just a great fighter. He does everything so well, and the confidence that he brings into the octagon on fight night is unmatched by anybody in this division. Yeah, yeah. Really, really early. I realized he got short. Went really, really early. I realized his setup was going to be really broken this one. I'm going to ban those as well. So additionally, for the rules, we're doing no sword dance, no dragon dance, or any stuff. Like I said earlier, I was probably playing a little bit careless on this first attempt. Uh, hey.
And 30 to go. We're gonna time the shoot and get the takedown. Shoot and get that takedown. Make him pass the Come on. Hold her down, that's right. Hey, you're doing great. All right, pick up your pace a little, okay? More volume. Perfect work. Come on now, 20 to go. Man, your next opponent is gonna be no match for you. Now that was wrestling 101. Pummel into position, work for the single. Inside of me, they don't like the sight of me because I lack in compliance. I question what I can see if you're not playing my CD. No firing, I'll decide when I think it's my time to leave. Yeah, because they won't retire me, it inspires me to be inspiring when I'm low. I feel like I'm spiraling. I just get the look, I can't ignore it. There ain't no I team, but drop the TNA sometimes. If I'm being honest, feels like it's only me. No, to believe it. I have it right if you're quoting me. Write my name on your hit list, it might be the last time you wrote something. Rip that some leather today. I'll call it out, you throw. Oh, you look like a champion in there. Let's do some heavy bag drills. Listen for my call-outs. 
which sets the particle speed to the speed at not the ready to the same level of the Pokemon, so you can endeavor on every single Pokemon to the same level of the Pokemon. Remember, I can't use your name, because this game is pretty much similar. Suddenly, I came up coming to that school. I need you to hit this one, buddy. Yes, I like what I saw today. That was some beautiful work. It's fine. Man, your next opponent is going to be no match for you. Come on now, you got 30. I really need to start to like that. You're listening perfectly. So nice work. Don't be just me. Nice four. Wait, Good technique on the We're gonna time the shoot and get the takedown. Shoot and get that takedown. Good job, let's do it again. Push! Push! Let's go! Push! Great work! Scramble there! That's the one! Don't stop now! 30 on the clock! That's it! Now! Right there! Kind of All right, buddy. We're gonna time the shoot and get the takedown. Shoot and get that takedown. Nice work. Get heavy on him. Yes. Man. Your next opponent is going to be no match for you. Pinpoint! Come on, 30 seconds left. Make it happen. Perfect work. There we go. Good hustle there. You timed that takedown perfectly. Retire and 
chicks are spazzing out. I only get more handsome and flyer. I got them passing out like what you do when you hand someone flyers. And what goes around comes around just like the blades on the chainsaw. Cause I caught the flag but my dollar stack right off the bat like a baseball. Like kidding, bitch, I got them racks with so much ease that they call me Diddy. Cause I make bands and I call getting cheese a cakewalk. All right, coming up next, the wait is over. We get to this matchup for the UFC welterweight division title. Well, they are not knocking the D2 National Wrestling Championship anymore because now Kamaru Usman has some UFC gold to go with it. A huge effort to dethrone Tyron Woodley not all that long ago. And now Usman's got that target on his back. And he also has an undying belief in himself. He believes that through all the hard work, the results will show when he steps in the octagon. He has underrated striking. And because everyone fears his wrestling, a lot of his striking opportunities open up even more. But the moment Usman grabs you, he can control you in a way that not many guys in the UFC can. We saw that in the Wimbledon fight. We saw it in the Los Angeles fight. That's why he is the best fighter at 170 pounds. And when your bout agreement says Kamaru Usman on it, get ready. Grab a lunch bill. Grab a lunch bill. Might need a helmet too if that's allowed. Kamaru Usman getting ready to go here tonight. Well, this young man is a really accomplished submission specialist, and sometimes fighters get offended when you call them a specialist, but most people know what he's trying to do in there, and to this point, no one's really been able to stop. John, he will try to pull guard. He yeah. pulls guard anymore in the UFC at this point, but he understands that for him to be successful, the fight has to be in the grappling, in the jujitsu. If he's able to extend these jujitsu exchanges, he is the guy that is generally going to win. He understands position. He understands what point A to point B. He always is the one controlling the under. Always has the point. Just the knowledge of jujitsu that not many people can match. And you can be sure as he makes this walk no, tonight, he's thinking about Bella, just how Bella, Juno, no. No, 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 is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Welterweight Championship of the World. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 25 wins, 5 losses. He stands 6 feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Boca Raton, Florida, presenting the challenger, Kamaru, the Nigerian Nightmare, Usman. And now it is the champion fighting out of the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter holding a professional record of 14 wins, no losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Gomez. UFC belt on the line. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your time. All right, so here we go with round one of this UFC welterweight championship fight. All eyes on the champion as he looks to defend the title yet again. Prior to his title reign, we saw this 170-pound title change hands quite a bit. Not so since he earned the strap. We'll see if he can keep it here tonight against the number one contender.
crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop it. Got to defend. Yes, but you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Side control now. Now try to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. The Kabor is not the arm, it's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. Oh, we're getting a finish here. And this might just be a matter of time. Defense there. Oh, right in the mouth. Potentially working on a leg attack here, DC. It looks like he's attacking a heel hook. Oh, wow. Oh! I think he feels too much off the Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. Notice that the knee is bent. Submission beautifully executed there on the ground. Well, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger in finishing fights. Well, it's one thing to earn a UFC title. It's another thing to get it done emphatically the way he did tonight. The undisputed UFC welterweight champion, your winner by way of submission. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At three minutes, 54 seconds of the very first round, declaring the winner by tap out, Due to a heel hook and still... No, no, Nene. All right, so he came in the best welterweight in the world. Nothing changes tonight. Congratulations to the still UFC welterweight champ. He understands that he is the best fighter in the world at 170 pounds, and he proved that tonight. Hello, Pasta. Hello, Kitters. How are you doing this fine evening? I'm doing lovely. Dogs have had a bit of a runs today. Dogs have had a bit of runs today. 
Yeah. I mean, not runs as in like poop. They were running around a lot today. No, no. They ran out into the field, which, I mean, I don't really mind. I mean, it, it wasn't too bad out there, so I don't mind. I just, I just got to make sure I don't go too far, you know. I mean, not a good thing. So they're like, they kept going out there, so I like walked out there. And I was like, oi. And they, they just like look up and it's like, oh. He said, oi, and then they just kind of like keep meandering, meandering around. Like probably halfway between here and the swamp area. You know where the swamp area is, right? You know when you look out there and you see like those that little bit of grass? Like, not grass, but like high strands of it, you know? Like it stands up above the others. Right around there, about halfway to there. And I was like, I, I started walking out there and then they followed me back in. And then I let them out again, and I don't know what it, there must be rabbits by the pine trees, by like in the, you know when you're standing in that side of the house, like by the house, because they like they didn't run over there like they seen a rabbit, but they like I don't know if sturdily walked, but like they kind of quickly walked over there, and then they both went right down the line where the field seconds. meets the grass, and walked out toward the field again like sniffing the ground like they were following a trail or something and then they were kind of out like a little bit in the field like not too far right, and they were today. they kept sniffing Don't. they weren't eating anything but they were like sniffing something like they were trying to find something and then they kind of tried to do the same thing by the road but I wouldn't let them go that way I was like, I was watching, they started like, following the trail toward the road, and I was like, oh, I, I can't do that. So I like, opened up the door, and like, oh my, and they followed me. I'm like, no, 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 you can go by the grassy field as long as it's not like, wet, you know. As long as I can see you, and you're like, not too far out. But there will be no road. There will be no road going. And then they came in and they slept for like ever. Time for some grappling. We're gonna take it easy and flow between positions until we find the submission. Partying caters. Did you go to party? Look for the submission to show itself. Oh, you went to the YMCA? Nice work, down. Oh, don't you have to have? Oh, you have a? Don't you? Ha, don't you have to have a, a thing for that? Yeah. You get a guest. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Nice pass. I thought, I thought they used to do that, didn't they? Oh. Oh. You know how much it is otherwise? Nice pass. Thirty seconds. Let's go. Mm. Oh, oh. Perfect. Oh, 
Okay, let's roll. I want you to quickly move into the dominant position and establish control. Advance the position and look for mount. From there, it's all yours. Bless you, Katie. All right, let's work. Yes, 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 that's it. Now try to lock it up. on progressing that submission. Come on now, 20 seconds. Here we go. Nice work. My clock doesn't stop until you submit it. Let's go. You've gone for a while. How long did you swim? Bad little party, a woman. As you say, it's like you were swimming the whole time. You ran here, then you went and swam. And you are trying for an old marathon, aren't you? Ray control. Well, I don't know, because your little miss got to run and got to swim, so. You got 30 seconds. Let's go. Nice work. Lock him down. Worry about today. There's always to We just worked all we let's see the town. Girls is going on while we know that some brown. How so big this shit if you like lost and frown? Dog, I feel so big, can no y'all stop me now? Time to burn and get after it. Here we go. 